Well, he leads the race to be top scorer in the league and considerable attention on him. Can he add to his total? We're about to find out. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action and really looking forward to starting this new year with some live football for you. It's Newcastle United facing Leicester City. Well, Happy New Year to you, Derek, and everybody else out there. I'm pretty sure the players will have had an early night. Looking forward to a really good festive game of football. Number 42, Nabil Bentele. And number eight, John Joe Shelby. So they start at 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Nabil Bentaleb starts with John Joe Shelby in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who look to provide the goal scoring threat. City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Nathan Ake plays alongside Johnny Evans in the centre of defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you, St. James's in Jordan. And they kick off here. It's with Nabil Bentaleb. Pretty good reading of the game to win possession back. And they're trying to get right into his face. Well, he's given it away. Going well. And there's the feed into the box. Out straight at the goalkeeper then. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Savio. Here's Tielemans. Iannaccio, there's a slide draw pass, Perez, it did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner, He's driven in the corner. Space and time for the cross. Well, it might still work out for them. I don't think in the grand scheme of things, he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week, that was pretty average, to be fair. Might be able to get in behind the defence. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Well, everybody's disappointed. None more so than the manager. Just look at him. 
and firing it into the area and news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium Alan McAnally has the details it's a goal for Manchester City 17 minutes played 1-0 regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way oh goodness he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team might really be able to trouble them here Do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time, and they were always my fault. Got blamed for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Well, an own goal that has left them trailing and flailing. Matty James. And I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Anfield. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 26 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Brandon. Happy to take on the shot. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Nacho. James Madison. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Eduardo Salvio. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. The cross is on. Nacho. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Here's Rose. Newcastle possession stats are not too great, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Deary me, disappointing. Well, as you know, I'm not a goal scorer, but I think I could have done better than that. And a big breaking transfer story, and very happy to be able to share the news. Jonathan Tarr has completed his move to West Hamley. Well, Derek, reported fee, close to £25 million. He's not bad, he should have an impact. I quite like him. Matty James, Ndidi, Evans, it's the high-pressure, high-intensity approach. They're giving them the gift of possession. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. They've regained possession. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Of three minutes of added time. Iannaccio read it magnificently and intercepted.
just not looking confident in now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game And they kick off here. Space and time for the cross. I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, sometimes you can't argue with top-notch defending. Getting news of a goal on the Chelsea game, Alan. It's a third goal for Chelsea. 48 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, possession's not a problem for Leicester, but after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. Surely, and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power. And the keeper just can't react in time, look. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It can be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. So, 2 0 now. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Leicester City facing Cardiff City. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Not a moment that will live long in his memory. Well, I suggest he doesn't look at his teammates right now. They're all staring at him. Substitution time it is. Ake has it. Tielemans. Really a very poor ball. Firing it in. Staunch rear guard action. Madison with it. Hamza Chowdhury. Slipshod passing. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Eduardo Salvio. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Throw ins given. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Bentaleb. He could pick out a teammate.
giving them a different option by moving in field. Must score! The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. Well, if you can't block the shot, put the forward off, and that's exactly what happened there, but it's just off target. And given away. Nathan Ake here. Well, let's join Alan McAdally because a goal has been scored at the Etihad. It's a second goal for Manchester City. 69 minutes played. 2 0. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. And a throw in forthcoming. And a substitution in the offing. Sam Axima. Longstaff. Brandon. And a very good challenge. The angle didn't really favour him, not too far away. Well, I guess it's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back to a teammate? Here's Tielemans. Well, I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool game, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Liverpool. 75 minutes played, 4-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. In full control. It might be. Terrific block there. And he's fired over the corner. And he's clear his lines. Rose. Tremendous block. Happy to take on the shot. And cleared away. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. And now they will make the personnel change. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Corner kick played over. It comes to absolutely nothing. Plenty of running room in the wide position. He's given it straight to the opposition. Hamza Chowdhury. Just not looking confident in possession. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Brandon a good and fair challenge it's with Isaac Hayden it looks promising Sam Maxima Muto 
That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. One minute remaining. Here's Tielemans. Chowdhury. Tielemans. Well, great read there to intercept. That's it. The referee brings the action to an end. Space and time for the cross. I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Well, it's every defender's nightmare, an own goal here. Surely! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion, now it's all about... ...giving them a different option by moving in field. Must score! The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. And a very good challenge. The angle didn't really favour him, not too far away. Well, I guess he's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back? It might be. Terrific block there. Whatever it takes to keep them out, 